Daja hao. What's up guys, Alex Oda here with another session of fitness tips. Uh, once again, we're looking at supplements and today we're talking about branched chain amino acids and glutamine. So uh, branched chain amino acids, I'll be calling BCAAs or BCAs for short. And um, glutamine, I'm also gonna be grouping together with BCAs because they're both amino acids that are found in your food and that your body utilizes um, pretty similarly. So basically, what are BCAs and glutamine? Uh, when should you take it and what will it do for you? So essentially, BCAs and glutamine are naturally found in food. Um, they help you increase the rate of protein synthesis and capacity in your body. And they also decrease the amount at which your body breaks down protein. So, you know, this is great, but what does that mean for me? Essentially, the chemical takeaway from this is that you're going to be able to recover quicker after your workouts. So you, ideally, you should be feeling less sore, uh, you'll recover quicker, and you'll be able to hit your next workout the next day with more energy um, just because you've recovered a little bit better. So naturally, you can find BCAs and glutamine in your protein powder already. Uh, most protein powder blends, let's say they have about 5 grams of BCAs, which is great for a beginning lifter. Um, over time, however, I've noticed with the intensity that I've been hitting at my workouts, um, additional BCAs and glutamine help me recover better. So as you become a more intermediate lifter, if you're becoming an advanced lifter, if you're working out around one and a half to two hours a day, if you're working out more than one time a day, um, then it's a really good idea to look into getting BCAs and glutamine just because you want your body to recover a little bit faster and you want to hit your workouts harder the next time you step into the gym. So that's just a brief overview of what BCAs and glutamine do. Um, in terms of when you want to take this, you would normally take this during your workout or after your workout. So um, you'll usually hear the phrase intro workout supplement. And that's something that usually is used to describe anything with BCAs or with glutamine. Um, ideally, as soon as you start your workout, you know, maybe 10, 15 minutes in, you start sipping on your BCAAs and glutamine. Uh, just because by the time you hit the peak of your workout, your body is going to be using that in order to help you, you know, increase your rate of protein synthesis and decrease the rate at which you're breaking down protein in your body. Um, additionally, you could take this after a workout as well. So just say you had a really good lift, um, you're tired, you're fatigued, your body is in recovery state and it's going to be very absorbent to any nutrients that's introduced into your body. Uh, that's when you take your BCAs and glutamine. Um, it's going to help you recover a lot faster in the long run um, and just something to just help you just get that extra edge as you step into the gym and you're looking at training with more volume, more intensity, more sets, more reps. All right, guys, another session of Fitness Tips with Alex Oda. Once again, feel free to follow me on my Weibo or on my Instagram at whoisoda.